welcome to another episode of Redcast Movie and TV Talk. So it's been offered, accepted, and confirmed that the next Transformers TV show will be on Netflix, and that show is going to be the War for Cybertron trilogy. The showrunner is F.J. DeSanto, who worked on Titans Return and Power of the Primes with writers George Christick, Gavin Hicknights, and Brandon Easton, who have all worked on two other animated shows in the Transformers universe, but the biggest thing to note is that the show is being produced by Rooster Teeth, and the animation is being done by Polygon Pictures. Yes, you heard me correctly. Rooster Teeth is producing the show. Why do they keep picking YouTube channels to make these things? Is it so much to ask for an actual larger studio to produce these Hasbro? You have your AllSpark pictures. Make the show. Look, I don't hate Rooster Teeth, and I know that Red vs. Blue and their other thing at Ruby are very large and popular shows that they make that I don't watch because I have no interest in them, but look at what Machinima did to their trilogy for Transformers. The animation was a mess, the voice acting was good from the big name voice actors, but was awful from the YouTubers that they hired to do it. And overall, those shows did poorly, and people always complained about the episode lengths, which changed each show. Perhaps Rooster Teeth will be different, given how popular Red vs. Blue and Ruby is. But at this point, I will have no expectations whether they will do good or not. Honestly, when it comes to the voice acting, as long as they get Peter Cullen for Optimus Prime and Frank Welker for Megatron, that's really the important part of voice acting for me anyway. The other thing I'm curious about is that they specifically say it'll be a new animation style. New from what? From every other cartoon or compared to what the Machinima trilogy used? Given that Polygon Pictures did the animation for Transformers Prime, I'd love for them to use that same style or just a really nice and clean CGI like Prime used. But either way, it'll be cool to see these basically G1 design characters back in a show with a new story and I hope it's a good story at the end. Something simple like a classic Optimus Prime vs Megatron story on Cybertron. I think that since all three writers have worked on previous Transformers shows, it'll be easy for them to come up with a good story. This show rolls out in 2020 which is odd because the toy line is already going and in March, here we will have the new comic book as well. Hasbro has said that the War for Cybertron trilogy will wrap up in 2021, and I hope that the seasons just follow the way the toy line goes, like season 1 is Siege, season 2 is whatever the next part of the toy line will be, and so on. The episodes better be no less than 30 minutes long, and a nice 12 episode season or even longer would be great, but I think keeping it to 12 or 13 episodes per season will work better. Um, I've already seen a lot of people kind of bashing this idea, um, especially in because in, you know in the article it says that F.J. DeSanto guy, the showrunner, worked on Titans Return and and Power of the Primes, which were not that good. So a lot of people are just like, oh, it's the guy with the Prime Wars trilogy. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh my God. It's like, you guys obviously don't know what a showrunner does. It's like how they blame Michael Bay for the, the movies when he didn't write them. See, what a showrunner does, according to Google here, is they have creative and management responsibility of a television series production typically through combining the responsibilities of... Uh, head writer and script editor. In a film, the director have directors have creative control of a production, but in television, the showrunner outranks the director. So see, in this case, F.J. DeSanto is basically going to be the yes, put this in, you know, yes, write it like this person, kind of like Michael Bay in the movies, but this guy would be higher than Michael Bay in that sense too. So, he's only going to get, you know, final say on what happens, but it's up to the writers 
to make the story. So he's going to be the one approving what the writers do. That's all I have to say. So if you want to add to the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening and goodbye.